Did Prince Charles just refer to the Antichrist? Or maybe even another coming false messiah? A recent speech by Britain's soon-to-be king, Prince Charles, has the world up in a tizzy. Did he refer to the coming Antichrist at the COP26 climate summit? Many say maybe he did. Let's listen to exactly what he said. Here we need a vast military-style campaign to marshal the strength of the global private sector. With trillions at his disposal, far beyond global GDP, and with the greatest respect, beyond even the governments of the world's leaders, it offers the only real prospect of achieving fundamental economic transition. It appears Prince Charles said something about a man, a he. Someone Charles said has trillions at his disposal beyond global GDP. I mean, that's a lot of money. Someone who is respected beyond even the governments and the world leaders. Who is this man? Let's listen to that part of what he said again. Here we need a vast military-style campaign to marshal the strength of the global private sector. With trillions at his disposal, far beyond global GDP, and with the greatest respect, beyond even the governments of the world's leaders, it offers the only real prospect of achieving fundamental economic transition. So Charles is referring to a man with control over money more than the world GDP, and someone with respect greater than all the world leaders. And you know, all those world leaders were in attendance and no one batted an eye when he said this, as if the world elite already knew who this was. That is a key point to remember. Instantly, many Christians who heard this speech believed Charles was talking about the coming Antichrist who was hidden, but already on the world stage, ready to come to the rescue and save the world from climate change. Certainly, the hidden man with such power, money, and respect is very interesting. But you know what? What I find more interesting then Prince Charles' hidden world leader is how Christian prophecy teachers instantly believe someone like this would be the Antichrist. This ignores the fact that Jesus said multiple false messiahs would come upon the world stage. Multiple, not just one. Jesus answered, watch out that no one deceives you for many will come in my name claiming I am the Messiah and will deceive many. Jesus said many would claim to be the Messiah. Is that some of the deception? That we're looking for one person when it's actually many coming? Luke said this. He replied, watch out that you are not deceived for many will come in my name claiming I am he and the end is near. Do not follow them. Same idea. Many claiming they are Jesus himself or the Messiah at the very least. And again in Matthew, for false messiahs, plural, and false prophets will appear and perform great signs and wonders to deceive, if possible, even the elect. Again, in all these cases, it's multiple false messiahs who are coming. Now, there'll only be one Antichrist. But before the Antichrist is revealed, it looks like we're going to have a whole slew of false messiahs. So as interesting as Prince Charles' statement is about someone with more money than the world and more respect than all the government leaders, we should not and cannot jump on the Antichrist bandwagon. But unfortunately, that is exactly what I think is going to happen. If and when this man appears, I am afraid that the church will see this man or one of these other men come on the world stage and immediately everyone will brand them as the Antichrist. This branding will be sort of like the boy who cried wolf. One after another of these false messiahs will come onto the world stage and be labeled Antichrist, only to disappoint when they aren't. So when the real one comes, everyone will be burned out and miss him completely until it is too late, too late at least for many, that is the risk of jumping to conclusions about evil men who come at the end of the age. That is why Jesus gave us a sign 
a one-of-a-kind sign to be able to identify the true Antichrist from all the wannabe imposters. Jesus called this event the abomination of desolation. The Apostle Paul described this event for us as the man of sin sitting on the holy place of God and declaring himself to be God. This is an absolutely crucial event to watch for. Only the man who sits on the Temple Mount and declares himself God is the Antichrist. Let's say that again. Only the man who sits on the Temple Mount and declares himself God is the Antichrist. Everyone else is an imposter. And once this event happens, it's likely that all other wannabe Antichrists will fade into oblivion or more likely even be killed by the Antichrist because you know, he's not going to want any rivals. This means that the Antichrist will be the last of this line of false messiahs. Who will this line include? For one, the Jews in Israel are anticipating two false messiahs, a Messiah ben Joseph and a Messiah ben David. The Sunni Muslims are expecting a Mahdi, and the Shia Muslims are expecting one as well known as the 12th Iman. And the Muslims are also expecting a false Jesus known as Isa, son of Miriam. So right there are five potential false messiahs. And to that we might add this man referred to by Prince Charles in his speech. Likely, but not necessarily, a European of wealth and power. The kind of man who most Western Christians are looking for to fill the role of Antichrist. And that's what makes this deception so dangerous. If this man fits your perception of where the Antichrist comes from and what he's going to be like, you will more likely be deceived. Whether that is Europe, Israel, or even a Muslim country like Turkey, that is why Jesus gave us the sign of this man sitting on the Temple Mount and declaring himself to be God. Only by that sign can we know for sure. But, you know, let's return to Prince Charles's statement because it is really quite interesting or alarming, however you want to view it. Very few Christians would believe that there isn't a puppet master somewhere pulling the strings behind the scenes on the world stage. Someone coordinating world events and national events to bring about what we've been experiencing in the last two years. So this idea that there is a hidden leader in the shadows probably fits with what most Christians think and what we think on this channel as well. It is hard to believe that what we've seen in the last two years was coincidence. What Prince Charles has to say, however, is that this person is about ready to come on the world stage and save the world from a climate disaster, real or imagined. The first real question is what role this man might play if he isn't the Antichrist. And the second question is whether this person is Prince Charles himself, as many people think the prince is going to play an end time role. In terms of what this person might do, it seems likely he would be the leader of the first one world government based around the UN, the one that the Bible calls Mystery Babylon. That seems a likely next step that a leader steps from behind the curtain and causes the world to form a one world government with climate change as the reason needed to make this move. With all the hubbub about climate change, I bet you can see that happening as well. The second question about Prince Charles is a very strange one. Some think he might have an end time role. There are books claiming his name calculates to 666 in English and Hebrew. I haven't worked it out, so I don't know, but some claim that. And others think his coat of arms is similar to the first beast of Daniel 7, a lion, the beast associated with Babylon, as we discussed in this previous video. A unicorn and a red dragon are also on his coat of arms. However, I personally just don't see the connection with the end times. However, that doesn't mean Prince Charles doesn't play a role, even a major role. It's possible. We need to look at it with eyes wide open. But all of this is deception. 
Christians who think they know who the Antichrist will be, whether it's an American president like Trump or Obama or a European or a Muslim, all of us need to be careful. That is why Jesus gave us the sign of the abomination of desolation. But has this deception already subtly begun? Click right here to keep watching and discover when the deception begins or already has begun and what form it's going to take. Till then, this is Nelson and I'll see you there.